Good evening, Ginger. This week we have a beehive of activities. You all know that the week is all about World Safety Day. We shall be celebrating World Safety Day on the 28th of April. It's a day whereby we create awareness within our teams and our communities. So we have a beehive of activity coming through. I invite you all to participate very actively. Last year, the theme was all about Stronger Together. And our focus was about sensitizing our teams, training our teams, coaching our teams, and getting everybody at the same pace to understand our safety processes, our safety policy, and our safety needs. This year, the theme has literally changed a little bit. It's all about act together to build a positive health and safety culture within our teams and within the communities we serve. So we shall have activities ranging from on Monday, territorial safety, where we shall be highlighting and discussing a lot of what our show flow, our frontline teams do to drive our zero injury agenda within the territories. Then on Tuesday, we shall be focusing on SIF and SIO monitoring. And on Wednesday, we shall deep dive into how to do a risk assessment and how to act positively when you're doing a risk assessment. Then on Thursday, it's all about mental health. We shall have officials from our communities and we shall be discussing how mental health can influence our effort. And then on Friday, we shall run it up with road safety. So I welcome you all, I invite you all to join us and be very active during the course of the week. And act together is all about, it's a call for action. So we need to take action to drive safety within our society in order to ensure that we live a zero injury. set aside uh, by the International Labour Organization with two major objectives, uh, that is remembering colleagues, people who have lost their lives or suffered injuries while uh, in the course of their work in all operations across the world. Uh, the second objective is to create awareness and sensitize all people world over to be safety cautious and prevent injuries and accidents while at work. So World Safety Day is very important for us. Normally it's commemorated on 28th of April. So we are very proud that this is the day where we normally refresh and as logistics definitely 
We've had quite a number of road accidents and incidents that have affected the business. So we normally use this opportunity definitely to pass over the information to our employees, more especially the drivers. We are happy that we are associating with the traffic guys that normally pass over the traffic regulations to our employees to see that everybody is safe. We would love that everyone comes to the brewery, he delivers our product in a safe way and they end up delivering safely and return home safely. Mental health is key to our employees on site and off site. And on this day, we are focusing on relating mental health to the safety and the productivity of our employees. As these problems will force our, our employees to make errors at work, poor decisions which will lead to injuries. Our goal is zero injuries. These contrib the contributors of this mental health are several, from medications we take, even family hereditary issues. But as Nile boys, we have support system in place for all these kinds of issues. For example, we have functioning canteen to help these people with their balanced meals, insurance cover where they can get professionals to talk to, and also on-site clinic for peer-to-peer -peer group discussions. Let's act together for a better mental health for everybody. Road and driving safety is the key to the safety of our workers when they are coming and living in workplace. Much emphasis has been put on motorcycles because many of our workers use motorcycles and many of the accidents as a result of motorcycles. Like 41% of road accidents in Uganda are as a result of motorcycles. Another example, last year we lost two colleagues who got motorcycle accidents. Then as I talk now, one of our friends is in the hospital who sustained severe injuries as a result of motorcycles. The major causes of, road, of motorcycle accidents, we have recurrency driving, driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol, poor mechanical condition of these motorcycles, poor road conditions, incompetent cyclists. So what we can do to reduce these accidents, we have to engage these motorcyclists and train them on road safety through our corporate affairs department. Use of signages, use of PPEs, and then proper planning of our journeys because very many accidents as a result of improper planning of our journeys. Finally, I would say love, safety, marriage. Creating a positive safety and health culture involves different tools like the territorial team whereby frontline teams are empowered to take decisions and stop their processes in case of any unsafe conditions or behaviors in their territories. Then they also use the territory enablers to solve the unsafe conditions or behaviors in their territories. In proper implementation of the concept, we realize working together, taking care of others, leading by examples, hence creating a positive safety and health culture on site. To build a positive safety and health culture, risk assessment is very key. Risk assessment covers all routine and non-routine activities and it's mandatory for everyone accessing our facilities. Risk assessment has seven levels, the plant, the departmental, the job hazard, um, the process hazard analysis, the personal risk assessment, um, management of change and continuous risk assessment. This is very key to identify hazards in our workplace and then eliminate them. However, we are always reminded about the hierarchy of controls, which starts with, which starts with elimination, substitution, engineering controls, and administrative controls, and lastly, the PPE as the last line of defense. My name is Saba Gereka Sam. I work with Ginger Regional Referral Hospital in the Mental Health Department. I'm a psychiatric clinic officer. Uh, I didn't move alone. I came with my two colleagues. We are all working from the same place of work. Uh, I would invite them at least to wave at you. He's my senior. I've heard of another two members here.
Yeah, so you have a brother here. <laughs> He's going to move as a Please wave to them. He's my senior. Uh, He's my colleague called Gerard Masiko. Uh, we work together in the same unit. We are looking at causes demotivation and lack of focus and also engagement with one's work. So when you're mentally unstable, you're going to be demotivated. You're going to be, you're going to lack focus at your workplace. And you're, not, you're going to feel that reluctance to be engaged. You're going to feel reluctant to be engaged at your work. You're going to have challenges in creativity and resilience. You know, these days, employers, they want people who are proactive. They need problem solvers. If you are able to solve a problem, then you're going to be hired. But if your mental health is, at, is not working well, then the creativity and the resilience are going to be compromised. I have come with a team of four. I will start from this way, ladies first. The other one, the first one is called the agent Achola. She's the act, acting auto traffic in Jeru here. Your station here. The next one is the called Kopol Manaki Karo. She's also here. This is Kopol Sekanabu. He works in my, he works with me. And then this man here is called the Angido Michael. He's the one who makes sure that I arrive wherever I am going. I must say, the time I am getting to talk, I think I am disadvantaged. Because when yeast gets to the brain, concentration is distorted. And uh, I am getting to speak at that time when the excitement has been set rolling. So I, I want to appreciate uh, the management of Nile Breweries for inviting us to come and be part of the World Safety Day. I, lo I, I love the theme, act together to build a positive safety. Act together, and then the skit brings out, it is the power of togetherness. That is where safety comes from. What I am unable to do, somebody will recognize and help me so that I don't get hurt. Jazz was hot. I forgot about the CIP. I tell you, you know my manager. You know her very well. Yes, I She's know. going to squeeze me and take me for hearing. So I need to fix this breakdown such that I resume the CIP. And don't raise me as an SIO. The Nagawala. <laughs> Caro, Caro, this is not okay. Yes, manager. I went to the control room and there's no one there. Hey, manager, I'm here. Are yes. you carrying out CIPs? There is a little here, Caro, the ship is almost done. Eh? But, Caro, Caro, what is this? What is this, Caro? Ah, uh, manager. Caro, this is unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. Oh, Caro. Forgot this script, what, manager. Manager. what is this script? Oh, then you forgot to be a manager. Ah, Caro, I am this here is not okay. with the How robot. Robot like this? Manager, I'm doing risk at the Caro, there is no territorial safety here. Yeah, you're doing work at the end. You're doing everything. What is this? Well, I told you, I tried to go shower. Oh, then this is great, sir. You're going to be great on your family. Don't get on my hands. You're responsible for your safety and the safety of others. Manager, I am going to do that. Carol, this safety. is not okay. This is not okay, Carol. I Conclusively, all World Safety Day activities that have been that have transpired within this week have energized us to have a deeper understanding on our responsibilities, on how to act together to build a positive safety and health culture, both on and off site. As a site, all the activities that have been executed by the different departments on the different days within the week are a strategy aimed at driving us. As a site, all the executed activities by the different departments on the different days within the week are a strategy to enhance a positive safety culture that is aimed at driving us from the independent stage to the interdependent stage of the blood discount. This shall enable us to achieve our dream of zero injuries 
which is a responsibility of all employees, contractors, and visitors. I thus call upon everyone to embrace a positive and health safety culture, take care of others, and be true safety leaders to achieve our dream. Thank you.